Hello, I'm Mike with Imprintables, and today in this video, I'd like to go over helping you identify when it's time to replace your cutting strip in your vinyl cutter. All right, so the first step to identifying is just the basic eye test. Uh, if you look in this area here, you can see you know, there's a lot of scorning and just some jaggedness to it. Even if you rub your finger across it, you can feel that it's kind of rough. Uh, it's sort of like an under pressure thing. Uh, so when your blade is coming in contact with the vinyl here and it's touching down on this, if this blade gets caught in any of these you know, like divots you have here from cutting, it's going to tear, rip your vinyl, give it like a perforated look, uh, which will make it really difficult for weeding. All right, so if we do make a cut, um, some of the things you're going to identify even before you, you start weeding it is a lot of like the kind of perforations in it. So if we go ahead and try to start weeding this, even where a weed border is, um, it's a little difficult to weed. So when you get into it, it's, it's not very friendly. Um, and you're going to have, you know, some issues with even even peeling it off around your your weed border, and you end up getting just it tearing, and uh, it's not what we want. So once we identify that we may be having some issues uh, with the cutting strip, and it's a good time to replace it, uh, what we want to do is, I mean, any kind of tool will work for it. Flathead screwdriver. I use a weeder, tweezers, anything to help you get into either one of the edges of the cut strip here to kind of get it up a little bit then once you have it removed you can just peel it off by hand all right so once we have the cut strip removed uh, this is another highly important uh, part of the process here is a lot of times when you remove your cutting strip from any vinyl cutter you're going to get a lot of adhesive uh, left over uh, in this area where the new cut strip will have to be put down. Uh, you want to make sure that you completely get rid of all, um, if not most, of the adhesive there because the problem is if you leave any adhesive around when you go to put your new cut strip down you can have like some humps in it and it's not going to be good. You're going to have some inaccurate cutting so uh, you want to make sure to remove all the adhesive um, that's left over once you get that torn off. All right, so now we have the cut strip removed. Uh, we can see we got some heavy adhesive left over down here. Again, uh, it's highly important to get all that off. So I have an old towel and some rapid remover, uh, which is an adhesive remover for like sign vinyl. Uh, I got my towel sprayed with it. And what you want to do is you just want to push as hard as you, I guess you possibly can and just try to peel it up as you're moving it. Uh, some parts are going to be a little tricky to remove, so you could take like a flathead screwdriver and or any tool if you will to kind of loosen it up a little bit more and just keep scrubbing until it comes off <laughs> all right so once we uh, have all the adhesive removed maybe run your hand across it give it a double check make sure everything is nice and flat nothing left over uh, you get your cutting strip and you just want to get it started at closest to the edge as you can um, get it started and make sure the thing is you want to keep it as straight as you can uh, while we're moving it down and as you're kind of working it down the opposite way you can pull the underneath adhesive off as you're kind of just working it working its way down all right so hopefully today i was able to help you identify some possible signs that it is time to replace your cutting strip uh, if you have any more concerns or questions on this, feel free to give us a call at 800-347-0068. Thanks.